Greetings everybody, Keegan Bailey here of Paramount Fishing. Today I'd like to do a video in response to a lot of negative feedback that I received in a previous video uh, called Fishing for Big Large Mouth in a Dried Up Creek. So really today um, I'd like to share with you how I got the, um, the weight estimation for the first fish that I caught. Um, what I did really is I eyeballed the fish and I deemed it to be around 18 or 19 inches. And um, basically over the years I've kind of memorized this chart to some degree um, or arbitrarily, um, arbitrarily memorized it. Um, and this is a, sh a chart that I found years ago. Um, it's on the Texas Parks and Wildlife website. Um, and it's, um, it was created by a survey of 3,178 Texas bass. And what's unique about Texas bass is that they have a good mix of the Floridian strain largemouth and the northern strain largemouth. And both strains have slightly different body proportions and weight distributions. Um, and by having this, this rare opportunity uh, to survey these fish um, with you know both strains being present, um, it gives a really, really good um, really good evaluation of largemouth bass, you know, overall. Um, so basically we're going to kind of pan down here. Um, so it gives it in increments of eight, an eighth inch. So if you catch perhaps a 19th and a quarter inch bass, you would just kind of, you know, find out where the two meet and it would be about a 4.13 um, 4 pound fish. So um, yeah, so uh, this, this, this is really an estimation. You can't be exactly sure. It could be um, an incredibly skinny bass. It could be an incredibly chunky bass. Um, and this is only for largemouth bass. None of the other black bass, is, they have different body proportions and um, it wouldn't really work. Um, this only includes largemouth bass. Uh, I found a similar chart on In Fisherman 2. Um, kind of pan down here. Um, and it's a little bit more simpler. It doesn't actually go into the different, you know, it doesn't have increments of an inch of um, like an eighth inch increments. It just has uh, the actual one inch increments. Uh, so a 19 inch bass on here is 3.89 pounds on average. Um, they don't say on here, I don't think, where they got this information. Oh, okay, here we go. Developed using over 20,000 fish across a range of 175 populations. Oh no, that's different. Scratch that. All right, so um, I really haven't taken the time to read this article here, but I did find this, and this is, you know, fairly decent estimation if you were to catch a 19-inch bass. All right. Um, so over here is a similar chart to the first one I showed you. This is on a website called The Jump, um, thejump.net. I'm going to be uh, providing the links to all these websites in my um, my description, my video descriptions, so that you can check them out for yourself. Um, so um, yeah, so the fish I caught, I believe actually this is the same values for yeah the same values as the first website. So now the values here are different than uh, the Texas. Uh, Parks and Wildlife website. Um, yeah, so really all three three websites are a good, you know, estimation. I'm, I'm saying estimation over and over again because you really can't be sure unless you bring your own scale. Um, and I believe a lot of the discrepancy uh, between what I was getting in the comments section, basically, you know, sit meeting, you know, we had a lot of people were saying one pound, a lot of people were saying the fish weighed two pounds, a lot of people were saying that the fish weighed, you know, less than a pound. This can all be due to the age of your scale. And you may think this is kind of ludicrous at first, but hear me out. Um, a lot of times people will let their scales sit um, in different environments, sometimes, you know, a moist like garage or somewhere, like a basement where um, the actual coils inside can oxidize, can become rusted. And we all know that rusted metal is not nearly as flexible as uh, metal that has not rusted. So um, it's very possible that scales within uh, different degrees of rusting, you know, inside um, may give different weights 
Um, so a three pound bass on a scale that's partially rusted could come up as, you know, being like one and a half to two pounds. So um, it's really hard to determine that. Um, surefire way though is by measuring the, the fork length um, using a tape measure or just um, some sort of fishing measuring tape. Um, I actually have a scale and a uh, measuring tape combined in one by Rapala um, that I find to be kind of useful. Um, so whatever uh, technique you have for measuring, um, that's probably the most surefire way. And I also like to avoid using a scale for um, for fish um, that you know requires you to stick a little metal piece into their gills, um, because really the most um, the worst place you can stick something into a fish and have it really not make a very good recovery is the gills. Um, it's a very vascular area. There's a lot of blood flow going in there because that's where the oxygen transfer occurs. Um, and uh, it doesn't heal up very quickly and sometimes it results in the death of a fish. So really like to avoid the gills. Uh, if you see a lot of my videos, I don't really hold the fish by the gills um, for that reason. I know a lot of people hold um, pike and things like that, walleye by the gills. Um, and I don't think that's a very good practice if you're planning on releasing the fish. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to estimate um, the weight and the weight from um, the length of a large mouth that you either eyeball or find using a tape measure, um, these are some good resources um, to look at. Uh, if you want to take them with you, you could you know bookmark them on your smartphone browser or maybe even print it out and laminate it. That'd be a good idea and stick it in your um, tackle bag or whatever else you know maybe on your boat somewhere. Alright, so I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. I like all constructive criticism. No trolling, please. Thank you very much.